If you're stuck in a sketchbook rut, this video is for you. I'm experimenting with six different media, acrylics, coloured pencil, water-soluble wax, crayons, acrylic marker, collage and watercolour. Stick around to see how mixing media can totally transform your sketches. Hi there, I'm Janine, I'm an artist and I share my creative journey on this channel. I haven't worked in my sketchbook for ages and I'm really itching to experiment a little. If you feel the pressure of needing to create a perfect page in your sketchbook, I hope this will help you. So I've got a few different materials. One easy way I think to start um, is with a water-soluble crayon. It's very forgiving. So these are the Neocolor 2 crayons. I'm literally just scribbling and getting some energy out and then what I like to do is get a brush this is quite a soft like a calligraphy brush and I'll wet that and then just go over these marks and I'll kind of dissolve them a little bit and I can also go into that with oh it's a little bit broken with another color into the wet surface which makes the mark quite creamy and I want to keep these fairly minimal I usually prefer when I don't put too much on my sketches I've also got a couple of acrylic paints here. This is a burnt sienna. I've also got some pre-mixed leftover bits that I want to use up. I'm just going to take a little bit of this. It's quite watered down. This is basically the colour of the background almost. A little bit more grey and a little bit darker. Also mix a little bit of the burnt sienna in. I always really like when the body of the brush doesn't have any paint in it and it's just wet and that kind of creates a really nice gradient. I need some sort of contrast in colour. What about this paint's grey? Is that paint's grey? I think so. A little bit of contrast. I'm going to leave this to dry. Maybe I'll work on it a little bit more later. Something I don't use a lot but I've been wanting to try more is coloured pencils. And I've got these here. They are from Wooma, and Wooma is very kindly sponsoring this video. There's 72 colours in here, and by the way, on the inside of the sleeve, you can cut it open, or yeah, let's cut it. You have a lovely sheet where you can swatch all your colours. That's a really great idea. Let's just try one of them. I want to see this pink. WP105 seashell pink. Should have cut it here really and then I would have had the colour chart going this way. Mm, they're really creamy and they say they have a very good light fastness. I could probably do a test on that. There's two layers. It's a great range of colours. What I like about it is that you don't only have the really saturated colours that you usually get. There's also lovely mutatone. Like I love this pink here. What is that? Light cinnamon. It actually feels really nice when you hold it in your hand or this green gold. If you're interested in finding out more about these then have a look at the link in the description box. Actually let's try this one. Just trying a thin layer. Actually it goes on really really smoothly. It probably depends on your paper as well. This paper is quite smooth but it does go on really smoothly. And yeah they do feel almost creamy. Very nice to work with actually, I like that. And then let's try that pinky colour that I liked. Yeah, it's also really nice. The colour comes out really well. And actually the colour that is on here is very similar to the colour that you get, which isn't often the case. Let's see if they're also water soluble actually. Just the tiniest bit, but not very much, which I actually like because I like working in layers and then often you move the previous layer when you add wet media on top. And then you draw on the wet surface. Ah, you can see here actually. 
the lines a bit more faint. See where it's dry, you get a more solid line. And then on the wet surface, it's more transparent. That's really interesting. And then with this, I'll also add some acrylic paint. I'll let that dry and I'll see if I can add some on that sketch I made earlier. This is a really nice um, grey. It's very quite similar to this paint grey, which is cold grey number three. It's quite dry yet. So yeah, you can definitely layer over the acrylic paint. I just find it so fun just experimenting with the material, not really having an outcome in mind. Just what I love having a sketchbook for. I think I'll add one more colour here. What about this dark pinky red? It's red purple. And if you go into the still wet acrylic paint, then you can obviously reveal some of what's underneath and also draw a rich in paint. I really like that. If you like this video, consider subscribing. I also really love experimenting with acrylic markers. These are the Liquitex acrylic markers. Especially these chunky ones that really got a big nib and you can cover a large surface with it. Let's use a slightly brighter colour. Let's try some dark purple with a the yellow. They're complementary colours. That's also really interesting actually when you go over, over a slightly damp area and do this then get a nice effect of the difference between the dry paper and the slightly damp paper. I'll add some more of this creamy colour. Let's add some of this new colour as well. I also really like dragging through wet paint with these. I also want to include some collage. I've got a couple of papers here that I made myself. Let's add some of this first. I have some gel medium. This is a regular gel mat by Golden. And I'm just adding a little bit where I want to place that. Then I also add a little bit on the top and then that should stay in place. Let's also add some, some of these fun marks. And this is tissue paper, so that will sort of turn transparent when I add it on top. See how that kind of disappears? I really like that. It's a really fun sketch, I think. This one's my least favourite so far. What if I also add some of those fun marks? Maybe I can put a little bit of collage here as well. Just tried this a little bit with a hairdryer. I do want to try what the pencils are like when you add them over the dry paint. She looks a bit like the Neo Color. In terms of color. Okay, to get a thinner line. See, I think that's because the surface is already kind of prepared. It's not the soft paper anymore. So it does layer, but it feels very different to 
painting on the just on paper. Very nice. And then one last thing I wanted to try is add some watercolour over the dried acrylic. I'm just going to add a little dab of this. These are new, I haven't tried this yet. This is Rose Door by Winsor Newton. So just, I just want a transparent layer over the acrylic. The acrylic is sort of resisting the, um, the watercolour. Let's add a bit more. Mm barely see that. Very nice pink actually. It's sort of intense but not super intense. I like how all the different materials are resisting the watercolour. interesting. This is a little bit too cool. Oh, I've also got some yellow here which is Naples Yellow Deep, also by Winsor Newton. I've also never used this one. Oh yeah, this is much more opaque like your like your standard Naples yellow I much prefer that now. I always find it so freeing to just experiment with the materials. There's much less pressure if I just set out to see what my supplies can do rather than wanting to create a beautiful sketch. I'd love to know if you use your sketchbook a lot or if you feel a little intimidated by the blank pages in there. If you want to see some more ideas for what to do in your sketchbook, click the link to the video in the description box. Thanks and bye bye. Thank you.